Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to discuss this packet tracer activity, a troubleshooting challenge. Before coming to this packet tracer activity, friends, if you are watching our channel first time, or if you like to get these type of technical videos in future, consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to enable that bell icon near to the subscribe button so that you will get notification message whenever we upload a new video. Okay, right, coming back to our packet tracer activity. Here we can see our addressing table. Coming to the scenario, in this network, uh, some of the devices were uh, misconfigured. Uh, so we have to uh, correct it. Here we have to verify all these PCs, IT, Marketing and R and D, uh, be able to access this uh, website. And they mentioned we can access this router R1 uh, using SSH. And all these devices pre-configured uh, with these uh, following informations. Here we can see that uh, enable password is uh, Cisco ENPA55. Console password Cisco CONPA55. Admin username and password. Uh, it's admin1 or admin1PA55. Also, here we can see required number of hosts per subnet for IT 50 hosts, for marketing 50 hosts, R and D 100 hosts. Here we can see the requirements IT, marketing, and R and D PCs can navigate to these websites that is www.cisco.pka and www.cisco6.pka. Then IT, Marketing and R and D PCs can SSH into R1 with the username admin1 and encrypted password admin1PA55. And finally, all PCs should be able to ping R1, S1, S2, S3 and other PCs. First, so here we are going to uh, reconfigure all the misconfigured devices directly. First of all, we will uh, verify the IP address uh, on this uh, PC IT. Coming to IP configuration. Coming to addressing table. Here we can see our device IT. And here we can see the IP address specified is 172.16.1.1. We will uh, set here. Subnet mask it's correct and here we can see the default gateway. It's incorrect. We will correct it And coming to IPv6 configuration Here we can see it's configured correctly Okay Now we will go to marketing IP configuration Here we can see marketing. Here we can see the IP address 172.16.1.65. It's correct. Sub to mask. It's correct. And the default gateway. It's correct. And coming to IPv6 address. It's correct. Yes, it's correct. There is no change in marketing. Now we will go to this R and D PC. IP configuration and we will verify. Here we can see IPv4 address 172.16.1.129. It's correct. Coming to the submit to mask. It's correct. And the default gateway. It's correct. Coming to IPv6 address. CAFE colon 2 double colon 2. Here we can see uh, they configured incorrectly. So we will correct it. 2001 colon db8 colon CAFE colon 2. Then double colon 2. Okay, then uh, slash 64. It's correct. And here is IPv6 gateway. It's correct. 
ok that's done now we will verify the configuration on this router r1 uh, i think we have to access using ssh anyways we will click on r1 and we will try it you will go to cli we can see even we can uh, go through cli we will try to access this router r1 uh, using ssh uh, from this uh, pc it so we will get the ip address uh, of this router r1 it's here we will copy this ip address okay coming to it we will go to command prompt and here we will give ssh and here we can see the format ssh space hyphen l username so we can verify the username here we can see it's admin username then the target we already copied it's here and here we can see the message a connection to uh, this address closed by foreign host okay then we will go to our router r1 directly and we will verify it we will uh, close this it coming to our router r1 cli first of all we will verify uh, ip address of uh, each interfaces g0 slash 0 0 slash 1 0 slash 2 and serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 uh, it's prompted for the password okay here we can see that console password we will copy it enable password enable password is here right we will give the show command show ip interface brief and we will verify ip addresses g0 slash 0 it's here 172.16.1.62 it's correct g0 slash 1 172.16 ho oh. here we can see uh, the ip address is configured incorrectly uh, for this interface uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 okay we will correct it then coming to g0 slash 2 172.16.1.254 it's correct and coming to serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 10.0.0.2 it's correct also we will verify with the show running config so that we can verify ssh also here we can see the details host name enable secret okay ipv6 unique cast routing okay And here we can see each interfaces g0 slash 0 and here we can see the mask it's correct okay and here we can see ipv6 address db8 cafe it's correct coming to g0 slash 1 ipv4 address is incorrect we have to configure it okay CAFE 1 ok it's correct G0 slash 2 submit mask also correct and here we can see IPv6 address it's correct coming to serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 ok and here we can see IPv6 address it's correct and here line console and line bty and here we can see transport input telnet okay so we have to enable ssh also we did not see uh, they created the username admin and the uh, password for it so we have to uh, do that 
first of all we will configure the interface uh, g0 slash 1 configure terminal we will go to the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 and we will set the correct IP address as per our addressing table we will copy this address it's here then the submit mask okay no shutdown I think already given yes now we will create the username and the password uh, for SSH coming to R1 configure terminal here we will create the username as admin1 okay we will complete it username admin1 then we have to create the password we have to create the uh, secret password here we can see that admin username and password we will uh, copy this password better okay okay now we will go to line VTY line VTY we will go to all the lines 0 to 15 and here we will give transport input SSH because they given telnet now we will verify our switches first of all we will verify our switch S1 here is our addressing table S1 yes, VLAN 1 and here we can see uh, IP address submit to mask and the default gateway okay coming to S1 yes, CLI it's prompted for the password uh, it's a console password we'll copy it enable enable password is here Now we will give the show command the show running config okay and here we can see interface vlan1 you will verify the ip address uh, s1 172.16.1.61 it's correct submit to mask 192 it's correct also ip default gateway 172.16.1.62 it's correct there is no change in S1. Now we will go to S2. CLI password console password enable password is here. Okay, we will give a show running config. And here we can see interface VLAN 1 coming to S2 IP address 172.16.1.125 it's correct something to mask 192 oh here we can see uh, this is a fourth octet in this is something to mask it's 224 but it's 192 here uh, they configured this is something to mask incorrectly we will correct it also we will verify the default gateway 172.16.1.126 it's correct we will reassign this uh, IP address on the switch S2 for this interface VLAN 1 we will uh, copy this line so that it will be easy configure terminal we will go to the interface uh, VLAN 1 and here instead of this uh, 224 we have to give uh, it's a 192 yes 192 now we will go to s3 cli password it's here enable password it's here show running config and we will verify interface vlan1 ip address coming to our addressing table s3 
172.16.1.253. It's correct. And here we can see uh, submit to mask 128. It's correct. And the default gateway 172.16.1.254. It's correct. There is no change in S3. Now we will check the connectivity. Uh, we will uh, ping uh, from IT to all the devices. Okay, we will uh, first of all we will ping to marketing. We will get the IPv4 address coming to IT command prompt. Here we will give a ping. It's working. Now we will ping to R and D. It's working. We will try to ping to IPv6. It's working. Now we will try to ping to our uh, default gateway. We'll ping to R1. It's working. Now we'll try to S2. Yes, okay. We'll try to S3. Yes, hmm, it's working. Now we will try to access this router R1 using SSH. Okay. SSH admin 1 target IP address is here mm, ok it's invalid command right we will correct it so SSH hyphen L admin 1 then the target now here we can see it's prompted for the password and the password is here we'll copy this and here we can see it's working now we will try to access uh, these uh, web pages first of all we will access this www.cisco.pka coming to IT web browser Here is the URL. Go. Cisco Packet Tracer, it's working. Now we will go to marketing. Web browser. Hmm, it's working. Coming to R and D. Right. We will try with this uh, URL www.cisco6.pka coming to IT web browser okay maybe space it's working we'll go to marketing web browser okay it's working and r and d great so friends that's all uh, in this uh, packet tracer activity troubleshooting challenge and uh, here we can see our completion status it's 100 percentage dear friends if you have any doubt any suggestions uh, please comment below and if you like our videos our channel please like and share with all your friends subscribe for future videos stay tuned we will meet again with the next video thank you